it's uh, September 11th, 2020, and it's uh, very smoky out here in the Kennedy Meadows area. This is actually the Owens Valley down here. So there's fires going on in lots of places actually, but uh, the closest one is up in the uh, Sierra Mountains in the Golden Trout Wilderness. So we're getting a lot of that smoke down here. Hopefully it stays away from Kennedy Meadows. But today I'm hiking the old Secatar Trail. The old Secatar Trail, and it's pretty old, I guess. Pretty historic. So I've just crested the ridge where I can look down into the Owens Valley. You can see the trail right along the mountain there, along the cutting along the side. It kind of switchbacks all the way down to the valley, which is way down there. So it heads down to an area called uh, Little Lake. I'm not going that far. I've already gone about at least three or four miles, but I'm going to just head over to that area there, that little saddle. And I've been that far before, and um, there I actually found some arrowheads over there, so I'm going to kind of look around over there. And um, there's a corral, a little fenced corral over there, so somebody must have used it one time for a temporary horse staging area. So anyhow, it's at least with the smoke out here, the hazy sun is uh, not as hot. It's cooler. It's only probably in the 70s, which is nice for hiking. Okay. It's very steep terrain. All right, we'll head over to that saddle. Well, I made it to the saddle, and way down there is the Owens Valley, Highway 395. smoky. Joshua tree. That little corral is pretty much all laying on the ground. First I couldn't find it and then I saw the post on the ground, somebody's knocked it over or the wind and everything has just knocked it over. Here's part of it. It kind of went around this tree. There's some more of it. left of it. Well, we'll keep looking around here for some arrowheads. Hey y'all. So I come across this oak tree and there's actually quite a few oaks right in this area here. And I thought I'd come up and have a look. Because the uh, Native Americans would have come into these areas where these oaks were and harvested the acorns. So I thought I'd come up here and look for some 
mortar holes. And uh, here's an interesting um, rat's nest. Huge. This thing is about eight feet wide, five feet high. <clears throat> I've read that these families of rats will use these nests for generations. They'll just keep rebuilding them, adding on to them. That's pretty cool. So, let's walk over here and I pretty sure I saw some mortars coming up. In fact, there's some mortars right there. And what do we have here? Oh my gosh, I've got some stones here that could have been used as pestles. Oh wow. It's very rare to find a pestle. Look at this. Let's have a look. See that area right there? That is smooth and different color. The rest of this is all hard and rough. That is smooth right there. And here's a mortar. And here's a rather large mortar here. And this thing, oh wow, flies are everywhere. Oh my gosh, that is smooth. That has been worn down. Oh my gosh, I think these are genuine pestles. Look at that, it's just about the right size for this hole too. And this one, it's hard to say. It's a little bit big for that hole. But it could have definitely, oh man. That is, that is awesome. Look at that. Oh wow. I bet you these are original pestles. That is so cool. Here's another one. Oh, there's some more here. They use these. Oh yeah. Look at that. Wow, let's keep looking around here. So I'm not going to disturb these pestles. I'm going to leave them right where they are. They have probably been sitting there for hundreds and hundreds of years. And we'll leave them sit just where they lie. Let's look around here a little more. There's lots of boulders in here. I think I'll just spend some time in here looking around and if I find anything interesting I'll start filming again. It's pretty smoky out there. Got a lot of wildfires going on in the Sierras right now. <clears throat> 